briefly say what your concerns are. And question my indigeneity, okay? Your indigeneity isn't just your DNA and your brown skin, it's also being witnessed in community. So please sit down and be quiet. What about you? you don't know what a revolution is. Rick, Neither I have you. asked you many times in training, where are the indigenous people of these lands? The elders. I put together a panel that you guys did not respond to, and I had to fight, the community had to fight to get people here. You weren't there. The, we had Navajo elders, peyote garden gatekeepers of white people coming to take it. Because yeah, we do need to gatekeep. We need to protect our medicines. Because mescaline gives access to peyote. So Rick, where are you with us? Because um, I see a lot of indigenous folks. I do. And I'm not disrespecting them. But you're tokenizing them. No, you're sprinkling us in and you're not giving us the space that we deserve. You, you have the space right now. And as a consequence, if you don't liberate the people who are most marginalized on their own land, sovereign nations, you can't liberate anybody. Okay, we will, that's a good point. We have been an oppressive culture, and we will do our best. You're Nobody not... owns healing, but you know what? You right. don't own our culture. You can't take it from us. We don't and want... we deserve respect. Where are the investors investing okay. in that water right? Where? Where? Okay. No, okay. no. He okay. has that all weekend. Okay. If you don't like this, then maybe, maybe you should go look back in your roots and find out where colonization happened that created this room where you don't want to hear people. Okay, go. that's enough. Okay, go right ahead. No, go ahead. Yeah, no, they can do it. It's fine. It's fine. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> so hard to be in front of here. This is very challenging. I want you to be aware that you have been deceived by this movement. The psychedelic renaissance is not really psychedelic renaissance. The psychedelics and DMA is something that is just created a few decades ago. It's not renaissance at all. The plant medicine is renaissance within the Western system and it has been happening for decades through the indigenous people. We open our medicines for you to heal, not to take, not to strike. So this movement is not a renaissance. It's been happening already for a long time and it's being appropriated. Our renaissance bringing the medicines for you to heal. You're taking it, you're colonizing it, you, you're damaging us, you're healing or and erasing our cultures. Please stop. Think, think critically. This is not okay. You've been deceived, and you're gonna continue being deceived. The same happened to tobacco, now causes cancer. The same happened to opioids, now causes addiction. The same happened to coca, now cocaine causes a lot of harm. Please look at the cycle of colonization and how this continues to happen. In 20, 30 decades from now, you're gonna see the medicine harming you because they're living beings and they don't like to be abused. They're gonna come back to you and harm you. We're here because we love you. We're here because we don't want you to harm yourself. We love you. I love myself. I love my tradition. I love the earth. And we need to stand in liberation together. This is not a collective liberation movement. This is a capitalization. And you're stepping on our lands. You're stepping on our medicines for you to heal what you're oppressing us, when you're killing us. Please stop. Please okay. think. Have conversations, including us. The beautiful woman before said we want to include indigenous voices. No, 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 no. Our voices are indigenous. Yeah, it's enough. Okay, we have to
Okay. Okay. But we're the ones that need the healing. I come from the hood. People in the hood don't get the healing they need. They can't afford it even in the transition. <laughs> necessarily need to stop the entire movement. We need to shift the focus. We need to let the indigenous lead. There's so much promise here and I know everyone here wants healing for the world and for ourselves. The way to do that is to look at those who have been oppressed and listen to them and to invite them in and work together. We all want the same thing. We all are all wounded. And this has happened across the world. Colonization has happened and has caused us all wounds. The way to change it is to not colonize plant medicines as well. We can do it with respect and with reciprocity. We can. And the way to start is to, yes, use all of the energy that we all have felt here. We feel so much promise. What we can do is to use that to work together and to listen to the Indigenous elders. Ancestors, may we may we be strong and united, and we listened. We are one. We are united. We are peace, we are love. We will overcome the challenges as they did. Thank you. strength of this um, conference and the strength of this community is that we've been showing up in all of our parts and all of ourselves and the whole community has come together. It's felt so much for me like a family. My wife and children are here as well and I've felt so much um, connection to all many of you and all of you. Um, but I think that we need all the voices, and I think that the challenge that we need to go forward to try to mainstream uh, these kind of experiences that are so spiritual and so healing is we're going to need to listen to all the voices, we're going to need to be very careful, we're going to need to look out for those people that approach this in a way where they don't have proper support or they end up feeling hurt and that can happen. So we need to really not take for granted that this is going to work, that this kind of um, time we're not going to have another backlash. I, I have the feeling from this conference that my level of um, paranoia about the world has gone down. <laughs> I, I, I feel much more hopeful, and, and I do think that we need to um, you know, listen to all the voices and there's risks and benefits and all of that. And so I really appreciate the time and for what we've just heard.